Unfortunately, it's 4 a.m. and I can't sleep. I went to bed at 9.30 p.m., so I had a good time. Was pretty tired, you know, took a hot bath and stretched out and relaxed. And I thought to myself, I'm gonna have a great night of rest, get my solid eight hours and be ready to play because our first game is at 8 a.m. So that means I would have to wake up at six, get ready, drive to Oakland, get breakfast, all that stuff. So plenty of time, but I think around 3.30, I just started rolling around. And I don't know if this ever happens to you, but sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and then your brain just starts churning and starts thinking about all this stuff. And I can't turn my brain off and trying to go back to sleep and then just end up squirming around. I can't tell if I'm anxious about the last day or maybe I had too much milk tea and the caffeine's keeping me awake. But either way, it sucks because I know if I don't get a good night's rest, I'm not gonna play as well as I could be. And part of the reason why I've been playing so well on the first and second day is because I've been sleeping well. I don't even think I've yawned at all during the day, but I feel really focused and everything I want my body to do, I'm actually doing it. And that's the power of sleep. So since I can't sleep, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm just gonna try to watch some TV, maybe do a little work and then maybe in about an hour try to get back to bed and see if i can get a little extra rest so i'll see you guys in a bit making my own gatorade as you can see it's nice and early unfortunately i still couldn't sleep after trying to get back to bed so i just woke up and watched some of the game footage from yesterday and tried to study what i could do better and study the opponents in case we play them again. Usually I try to eat breakfast in Chinatown, but today is the final day of Gold Division playoffs, so I wanna go with my routines. I'm gonna get some American breakfast at Burger King to keep things consistent, and that'll give me plenty of calories to play in the first match. Hi, can I get the French toast sandwich meal? Orange juice, small please. Anything else? That's it. Oh, and the French toast sticks. 10.50, thank you. Thank you. So usually, nine man is held on Labor Day weekend, and so the third day is a Monday. Most people have that day off from work, so there's no traffic or anything. But this year, it's actually postponed a month later, so right now it's October 12th, I think, or 11th, so it's a Monday, and I forgot that there's gonna be regular traffic today because it's not a holiday today. So I'm running a little bit late, but the good news is I always try to leave earlier than normal, so even if I am running a little bit late, I can still make it there on time. So I just can't get my full, full, full warm up, but I'll still be there 30 minutes before the game starts. So even when I'm late, I'm still actually pretty early. Unfortunately, it's actually pretty chilly right now. You see the wind picking up. I should have checked the weather. It reminds me of junior high volleyball where you're trying to pepper and it stings because it's so cold. Oof. People are already starting to get on the courts and a single elimination playing on that court. And if we win, we keep playing. If we lose, we're done for the whole tournament. My mom made a special appearance today. She requested not to be on camera, which is okay, but she did bring some bowl of bows for everyone and gourmet bows. Good. She's hooking it up. These are fresh from Super around the corner. Fresh. Let's see what they look like. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Mom. An exciting game and we beat them pretty handily the first one but the second one they started playing better we made some errors but mentally we came back and I'm so proud of our team so we officially made it past the first round now we're off for two and a half hours unfortunately now we're just gonna walk around and I'm gonna get some nice hot with my mom there's a local place called St. Anna's I told you guys about and I'm gonna want her to try the Herngal night hot look at this crowd building up got the nice huh? This is so, so yummy. I'm probably gonna burn my tongue. 
but that's okay. Wow, a whole lot. That's so awesome. That's what's great about being the local community. That's exactly what I want to be when I get older, in shape and playing sports as long as I can. behind and <laughs> I hate waiting. I'm chilling in this lounge chair trying to keep my legs elevated so they don't get too sore. It's just a lot of random people trying to stay warm too. I don't even think those guys are playing. I think they're just trying to stay loose for their game. That's not going to happen for a while. I've never made that sound before. That's how I'm excited I am. We lost to them in three the day before. We just could not handle their two ball who was throwing John, just super athletic, throwing above the antenna. We also couldn't stop their outside. We were up so many times and we came back down. And our team's a little bit mentally up and down, so I thought it was gonna be a repeat, but I try not to focus too much on that, and I just try to focus on doing my job well. That was a good game, man. And now we're in the semifinals. It's our first semifinals ever as a team. Can't wait to play. Playing the Boston Knights now, a really good East Coast team. And then over there is Smash and CYC, it looks like. So it's good. We got East Coast, West Coast on both sides. Winner of these two plays each other. Waiting for our game. Kingsley, any uh, post game thoughts? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah. We played well. Good energy. Yeah, Kingsley always keeps it positive. That's why I love and he likes any sets me so. <laughs> Everyone's getting some rest, recharging. Bananas, bow, and my personal favorite, milk tea. Just trying to stay warm in between the game because we're playing very soon. We just don't know when, as usual, for nine men. You want them to hit over you. Everyone. Everyone. But if hit through you, there's no way the defender is going to pick it up. So you have to be tight. Like you have to be tight up there. Yeah. Yeah. Just made it to the finals. First time ever. Man, they're going to the finals. We were down 15-18. I was hitting out, but the team was just super supportive. They kept me focused, and I just tried to focus on doing a good job of my own. Had a couple good swings at the end, but more importantly, man, our servers, our back row just held it down. People stepped up. We were so steady, and we talked earlier in this vlog that we just mentally have been struggling to finish games. When we lose the lead, we get down on ourselves. This is just another level for us. It's like a new pal. There's just too many emotions going on right now that I can't express it. Yes, we definitely want to be in the finals, but this is the thickest layer of icing on the cake. I mean, we're going to try to win for sure. 
We want to be smashed, but just want to enjoy this moment too because this is team history. So many guys on Su Lam Pao have been playing together for 14, 15 years. For me to be a part of it, I'm just so honored to, to, to contribute to this. Jeff, Trung, Vince, all those guys have been together for so long. So thank you guys. Thank you, Pao. Now we got to get warmed up again. Look at this finals atmosphere. People are starting to line up for the game. Oh, is this another vlog? Are we vlogging the vlog? Tough loss. Now we're gonna congratulate Smash. Uh, we probably better practice once. Yeah. We got Josh Brina meeting his fans. And now we're just waiting for the award ceremony. That is the awards for Boston Knights. Great team. The San Francisco Smash Final Four. You have leapfrog to the finals. What a great journey. Hope your body's still chasing the title next year. We share my congrats with you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. Yeah. Give me some content you guys. Who's this numbers right here? That's That's really cool. 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 Ah. My legs are killing me. They start cramping up really bad at the end of the game, and I was trying to push through. Everyone's chilling and hanging out, but I need to go home and take care of my body. Look at this lonely street, no more courts. I'm probably the first one to leave. I left Chinatown at around 6.45, got home at 7.15, ate some dinner and took a long bath. Now I'm really starting to feel <laughs> the fatigue. You know, I wonder if I slept better, I probably might not have been cramped because usually one of the symptoms of cramping is sleep deprivation, but it was also a long day and I was max jumping a lot. But my body actually feels really good right now. It's only lightly sore. Um, I'm just really tired. I'm still processing everything that happened and I still have a million emotions going on inside of me. Joining POW has definitely been a life-changing experience. Uh, just being part of a group and being a part of an established team that's been together for so long and to be a part of their journey of just breaking through that playoff ceiling that they've struggled with for so long. And more importantly, just having some great friends on the team. Honestly, we're, we're a bunch of awkward guys. If you look at our hitting lines, they're not very impressive, but we get the job done somehow. This was my first nine men finals and the energy to play on center court. I didn't feel as much pressure as I thought there was gonna be. I definitely felt a lot more pressure during the semifinals, especially since there are moments where I was hitting out, I was serving out, I just wasn't playing like my usual self. So I definitely felt a lot more pressure to be more consistent with the team. But when we get into the finals, definitely I was trying to win, but I felt more free. And the pressure was more on Smash because they're the ones that have to maintain their title and they're the ones on paper that are supposed to win. Right now, I still feel like I'm on cloud nine to be in a, in a finals for such a big tournament. I just can't get over that. What I'm really happy about 
is the last two years of really honing in my, my training. I've been super consistent, waking up at six o'clock, getting to the gym at 6.30 before work, only missing maybe a few workouts in the last two years, honestly, for both lower body jump training and upper body. I've been dialing my nutrition, before the tournament, I weighed 171, and I don't remember the last time I weighed 171 pounds, I think is when I dunked a basketball when I was 26. And I've just kind of stayed in that high 170s, low 180s body weight for a long time. I was always in shape, but not in like lean competitive shape because to get there, that means I couldn't just eat whatever I wanted. I really had to dial in my nutrition. The coolest thing about how we ended the day, even though people were crying, wishing that we would have played better against Smash, we're all motivated to stay together and we're already excited about practicing again next summer, lifting weights and just being prepared and just being even more prepared to make it to another finals next year. And next year is going to be the full tournament, probably with 60 teams again, as the COVID situation hopefully improves. I know I'm already ready to get started and continue to improve my athletic performance, hitting the weight room and hopefully getting below 170. If I can get to 168 pounds and be muscular, lean, powerful and light, that's going to be a whole nother level of Donnie that you guys have not seen since my early 20s. Another sign that I've been taking really good care of my body is that I didn't really feel that sore this morning and I feel okay. Historically, I would be cramping just sitting on the car ride home after a two or three day tournament. And I thought that might happen this time, but got out of the car, felt pretty loose. And I took a hot bath and I felt even looser. So I'm gonna continue to stretch down and foam roll at night so I continue to accelerate the healing process of my muscles, take a full day off, maybe two, if I still feel a little bit fatigued and get ready to hit the weight room again and start training for nationals again next year. What made this nationals even more special is that my wife came to watch me and surprise me and stayed and watched all the games on day two and having a chance to hang out with her and show her nine man nationals, which is her first nine man national tournament and having my mom on day three come and watch me play and cheer me on. And she would say things like, Go Donnie! And that just sounded so familiar because the last time I heard her say those things was when I was playing in high school and when I was playing in college. She was getting into it. It was really funny because one of the matches that we were watching on the sideline as we were waiting to play our match, it was a very tall team, like six foot six and six foot seven all across the front row. And she said, that's so unfair. They're so tall and they're blocking every ball. How is that fair? <laughs> and I try to explain to her that shorter teams just have to work a little smarter and a little harder, but they can still beat the bigger teams, even though the height is a big advantage. But I can tell where I get some of my fiery spirit from because she was getting into it. And I love to see my mom excited about sports and more importantly, to be there to support me. Thanks for joining me on this journey for the nine man national tournament. Looking forward to seeing you guys next year. Special thanks to all the fans that took the time to say hi to me, have a conversation, cheering me on during the games, and more importantly, supporting the channel and watching my videos. Thank you so much for just being such a fantastic audience. We'll see you next year at the 2022 Nine Man National Tournament.